we acknowledge that we owe some of the health facilities outstanding debts. As I mentioned earlier, we have released 4.5 billion last week, and the facilities can confirm that, that if they have received payments. This week, we are releasing another 4.5 billion Kenya shillings, and that will make a total of 9 billion Kenya shillings that will be released for payment or debts that are, we owe these facilities. And as a result, because that was the reason as to why most of them are demanding upfront payments, we've acknowledged that we owe them and we have also started paying them. And if they have accepted to be contracted under SHA, they should be able to provide services under SHA, not demand upfront payment where the citizens who have registered under SHA and paid their premiums are denied services and told to pay upfront. That is where we are differing with those facilities. It is not because of anything. We are differing with them on the basis of accepting to be contracted, we paying them the outstanding debts, and then them demanding upfront payments from the patients. We've also discussed with this team because the information that we got is most of those who register under SHA and are not employed, and therefore they are supposed to pay their premiums upfront. We have removed that requirement for upfront payment for the period that we do not have the insurance premium financing model, which we are developing, and once the insurance premium financing model is ready, then we'll urge them now to pay their uh, premiums upfront based on the financing agreement they will enter with either the cooperative societies, the circles, or some of the financial institutions who are coming in to support us in the rollout of SHA and specifically taking care of their customers who need to pay uh, for their insurance.